Welcome students to class 4 maths chapter 7 factors and multiples worksheet 7.1 topic is factors I have covered all about factors in the video whose link you will find above and in the description now we will be doing worksheet 7.1 question 1 is 12 a factor of 3936 so we will divide 3936 by 12 if we get the remainder as 0 that means it is a factor we will divide by 12 and check the remainder when we divide by 12 we are getting 0 remainder that means 12 is a factor of 3936 since 3936 is exactly divisible by 12 therefore 12 is a factor of 3936 question 2 find all the factors of 12 and 30 to write all the factors of 12 we will start with 1 we will write 12 as multiplication of 1 12 is equal to 1 into 12 then we will write 12 as multiplication of 2 12 is equal to 2 into 6 moving on we will write 12 as multiplication of 3 12 is equal to 3 into 4 now since after 3 4 comes and 4 is already there in the list you will not check any further all the factors of 12 are these six numbers so we will write the factors of 12 are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 b part find all the factors of 30 to find the factors of 30 first we will write 30 as multiplication of 1 30 is equal to 1 into 30 then we'll write it as multiplication of 2 30 is equal to 2 into 50 then we'll write it as multiplication of 3 30 is equal to 3 into 10 now 30 cannot be written as multiplication of 4 so we will check it with 5 30 can be written as multiplication of 5 so we will write 30 is equal to 5 into 6 after 5 we have 6 6 is already there in the list so we will not check any further this means these are the numbers which are the factors of 30 therefore factors of 30 are 1 2 3 5 6 10 15 and 30 question 3 Rohit has a collection of 16 coins he wants to place them in an album in how many different rows having the same number of coins he can do that this question tells us Rohit has 16 coins and he wants to place these coins in an album. Now we have to find out how many coins will be in one row so that each row has same number of coins. For this we will find factors and whatever numbers we get as factors Rohit can arrange his coins in rows containing that many number of coins. So we will start by finding out the factors of 16. The factors of 16 will be 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Now you can have these number of rows. That is you can have 1 row or you can have 2 rows or you can have 4 rows, 8 rows or 16 rows. Now to find out how many coins will be there in each row if you are having 1 row, 2 rows or 4 rows or whatever number, you will have to refer to the multiplication that is done here. Now for one row we will see here what is 1 multiplied by. 1 is multiplied by 16. So 16 coins will come in that one row. For 2 we are multiplying 2 by 8. That is if we are making 2 rows each row will have 8 coins. 8 plus 8 16. Similarly in case of 4 rows 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. So each row will have 4 coins. In case of 8 rows here going back. 8 into 2 is 16. So 8 rows will have 2 coins in each row. In case of 16 rows, we will have 1 into 16 is 16. So each of the 16 rows will have 1 coin each. Now I will show you the picture of how these coins will look when we arrange them in rows. 16 is equal to 2 into 8. That means 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 8 times is going to give us 16. So, 8 rows of 2 coins each. Next comes 4 into 4. That means each row will have 4 coins. And number of rows is also going to be 4. So, this is how our coin arrangement is going to look like. Question 4. Say whether true or false. A. 4 is a factor of 8. 
B. 1 is a factor of every number. C. 0 is the smallest factor of 9. D. 2, 3, 5 are factors of 30. E. 2 is a factor of 10 but 2 is not an exact divisor of 10. A part. 4 is a factor of 8. To check, we will divide 8 by 4 and check the remainder. Remainder is 0. That means it is true. 1 is a factor of every number. We have studied this in properties. This is true. 0 is smallest factor of 9. No. Smallest factor is 1. 0 is not the smallest factor. This is false. 2, 3, 5 are factors of 30. We will divide 30 by 2. We get 0 remainder. Then we divide it by 3. Again we get 0 remainder. Then we will divide 30 by 5. Again we will get 0 remainder. That means 2, 3 and 5 are factors of 30. Hence true. E part. 2 is a factor of 10. But 2 is not an exact divisor of 10. This also we had discussed in the properties that if a number is a factor, then it will be an exact divisor. So if 2 is a factor of 10, 2 will also be an exact divisor. Here they are saying it is not a divisor. That means it is false. This brings us to the end of the worksheet. Until we meet again, stay happy and keep learning.